Right, what's going on? And welcome back. I am being a bit quiet today because we are in GSM Performance. Picking out some bucket seats for the track build. I'm going to show you around and see what we've got. These are like your uh, toe straps, uh, kit bag, those neck things. Star belts, momos, home peas. These are FA approved stuff. These are fucking wicked. I'm laughing them. They're fucking wicked as well. And I think that's what I'm going for. This is a Corbo Pro. Use your pole positions. Oh, that is an option, and that one. So I'm currently outside GSM Performance. Elliot is here. We've just been bucket seat shopping uh, for my build and his build, which is the best way to put it. Obviously harnesses, wheels. Oh yeah, Womble, come over here. What do you think of inside? Awesome. Looks like heaven, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it heaven for shoes. Uh, there's just seats and shoes. Well, they've got shoes in there as well, but. Oh, yeah, they got a, I've seen a shoe. Are you nice. going to be picking anything up from GSM Performance? Oh, yes. Spend a lot what, of what are we going to be buying? Uh, seats, rails, hat, uh, hats. Hats. <laughs> Helmets. You've already got a hat. Yeah. Uh, helmets. Uh, don't have that. Yeah, um, Brakes. I'm hoping to pick up over the next week or two seats, fitting kit for my car with the rails and the side mounts, harnesses, wheel, maybe a helmet. It's a lot of money, isn't it? Yeah. What's worth it? Yeah, it's going to make... Brakes. Get the big brakes. I can't afford the big brakes. Brake, brake. Sponsor me. Brakes. K Sport. Sponsor, oh, high spec I want. He wants K Sport. So I want high spec. So high spec, if you're watching this, sponsor me. GSM, if you're watching this, sponsor me. Uh, I'll have a big sticker of GSM on my car. Seems I'll, fair. I'll, I'll have, sponsor me and I don't give a fuck. I'll have whatever you want. Put a big dildo <laughs> on the side of my car. Oh, sponsor me. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's, all, that's all AdSense gone for this video. <laughs> I just want to say before we leave, thank you to Gareth at GSM. Proper nice fella, helped me with all my questions, even the stupid questions we asked. And that's it. So when we, I'm in the landing now with uh, Womble. Nice little slot there for a phone. That's good, isn't it? Shit on, shit on. Better. Right, so, GSM performance. Uh, bucket showroom is awesome. Like, there's everything laid out properly. There's very few seats that don't stock. They mainly stock FIA approved. Uh, if you don't know what FIA approved is, it's basically like a certification so they're safe and they've been tested. So if you smash yourself up on a track, it's Yeah, so if you, uh, if you crash, roll the car, even on the road if you crash, right? Uh, all the tarnishes you want, test on helmets, which is what I was doing, seeing if the melon would fit in, and it does. Uh, I think I've got an idea of what I want. Even with a gay hairdo. Yeah, the lesbian hair needs to uh, have a bit of a trim for the, for the track days. Because I was in a helmet and my hair was like that and how am I going to see anything when my lesbian hair's in the way? The fact that GSM is, it's, it's in Nottinghamshire, so it's, it's like half hour from me. They're worth a trip. Honestly, if you're unsure about bucket seats, like as, as we all know, I'm not exactly a skinny fella. Fat people need loving too. Yeah, we do. Fat people need love too, Ellie, that's correct. So, a place where I can see if my hips don't lie and they do fit in bucket seats is really good. Obviously, you've got a large head as well. What did, what did you test out, Elliot, when we was in there? Oh, uh, Elliot was looking at the Corbo Revenge system, extra large. Was that the, the touring car one? It's a seat that you was used in touring cars for like X amount of years until the approval ran out. So you know it's these champions we're using it and trusting their life in it. And it's comfy as well. They're expensive though. To give you an idea of pricing, I went in there with an idea of, I thought I was going to be looking at the two seats, completely different prices, just wanted to test them. I was looking at Corbo Club Sport and the Recaro pole position with the wider frame. Now, the Club Sports aren't FAA approved, so they're pretty cheap. Uh, I think they're from China, made in China, but from a UK brand, Corbo. Corbo. Corbo, Corbo. Corbo. One of them. Obviously, Recaro, if you say bucket seats, everyone's going to say Recaro anyway, so you know they're decent. Uh, Price wise, the Recaros are coming out at about £800, just under. But a pair. Yeah, that's right, a pair of club sports for £380 without any fit. So, price-wise, they're, they're pretty bang on 
for what I need and my pricing, but obviously Recaro, you get FA approved, you get all the safe stuff, knowing that you're not going to die if you crash. If someone like hits you in Morrison's and your seat folds forward and shuts you in it and you become a hermit crab for the rest of the day, that's one of your worries out there. Obviously with the Corbo, I'm pretty sure it's not going to do that because I know a few people running. But if I, sorry, I'm looking up. I'm a uh, looking at a road seeing that making sure Elliot doesn't kill me in the car so the ones he was looking at I'll try and put a picture on screen for an XL FAMO it's got a bucket cheapest is 612 rising to 84 it's quite an expensive that's more expensive than a Recaro at its at its uh, best point of 840 quid so I'm going to see if they'll fit me fat ass in but Elliot is quite tall he's got quite a tall torso and dinty little leg so it's uh, getting harnesses to fit him and getting that massive bald head of The only thing I didn't like about it, it's got them guard things. Obviously, I'm going to be driving mine on the road, so it would make sense that I don't have And the other ones I was looking at, which I've ended up actually really liking, there was a set, or there was one There was one sitting. It spoke to me, Elliot. The bucket seat spoke, it said Jack sitting. It had harnesses already in for, like, testing reasons. I didn't bother putting them on because I didn't want to get stuck and end up, end up being that guy at a, bu a bucket seat shop who's stuck in there for an hour and needs... Like I don't know, head. needs cutting out. I like a fat lobster drink, I am not a fat crab trying to get over a shelf. Yeah, basically. Uh, but I've seen one that I like. Without any options, £500. The Pro Series System 1 XL. So it's like, I don't know, it's like a, a step down from yours. Really. Uh, it comes out at £500 for the one, I, the exact one I was looking at. Two width options. Standard and fat boy. FIA hot homologated, what does that mean? Is it? People it also comes in a range of colour options. So you sat in mine, what do you think? Yeah, comfy. Fish. Fish. But if I'm on a track day, I won't fit in it. No. Because no. I know it, it comes across weird on camera, and I've noticed this when I've met other YouTubers in person. I'm not actually, I'm quite average height, really. Yeah, I'm, I'm just under six foot, so I'm average height. But my tor I'm quite broad, and my torso is my, like, my taller portion. Yeah, my torso is my, my, torso is my taller portion. Making making seats fit me is quite difficult, and it obviously he has the same problem. See, it sort of unfortunately it limits the stuff that you can actually sit in. Hopefully, uh, we'll be ordering. It's quite a weird video. This uh, I don't I don't really think I've seen anyone. I wouldn't even call it clickbait really, but uh, just bucket seat shopping. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And if you want to follow me on Insta That's Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Jack will post it up some sure. Right over his massive head. Yeah, um, our Instagram's over 900 now, which is quite cool. So uh, thanks for all the followers on Instagram. Uh, we'll have something nice for a thousand followers and 500 sub. We'll do, we'll do something nice. Why would we egg a church? <laughs> Bloody hell! It's like you're trying to get me sacked from my own <laughs> from my own company. We'll, we'll, we'll show them the surprise we've got for. It. We have got something nice coming up. Yeah, so uh, leave a comment and a like and all that and all that good stuff, and we'll catch you in the next one. If you got any words of advice, uh, we'll probably go. Catch you in a bit. <laughs>